he is just like, err. And these mugs are just so calm, cool, and collected. Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm in Bloomington, Indiana at Westbury Antique Marketplace. A great place to go. So let's go in and see what we can find today. All right, booth 511 is one of my favorites. Let's see. Oh, this is a fun little thing. Oh, wait. What does this say? It says antique glass frame with two early 20th century Christmas cards in it. That's fun. I love that. Isn't that great? It's $20 for the frame. Well, for both cards and the frame. That's a fun Santa. Angie Santa. It's always good. All right. And so here we have some antique um, ruby glass. This one is. So you get the tumbler. It says with Lily Hancher in 1907. It's 12.50. These look really nice with a little tea light in them as well. I have several pieces that I put with my Christmas displays, but a bottle brush tree would look great in that. Here is a little art glass pink cat. It's pink though. I'm not doing pink right now. I gotta stick with the colors that I'm out hunting for. Oh, look at her. She's left and look at that face. She's going to tell you a thing or two. She is George Zoltan Lufton. That's what that Z, G O Z, left in 1956. She has her foil sticker. Yeah, she's got her, it says as is. It's she's got a repaired wing right there. She's going to tell you a thing or two because of the damage. I'm not going to get her. Where are you? You are Santa in a little mug. You've got a little chippies there too, but you're $5. I love that. I think that's going to go home with me. Ooh. Ooh. He's had some too much eggnog, but this is going to go home with me because I think a bottle brush tree would look great. You were just kind of, I kind of like these. He's, this has got some age to it. It's got some crazy. I have an obsession with Santa mugs. He's $10 firm. I don't think I can do $10 for you, but you are fabulous. Here's a nice Scandinavian um, folk art candle stick holder. That's a nice $10 or no $15 firm. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, look here. Ribbon, foil, icicles. Look at that packaging. Ugh, they're fireproof. I won't catch on fire. Well, I don't know that I believe that, but $9. I'm going to get this because that is great packaging for display. Bottle brush trees. You get the bottle brush deco. The whole thing for $28. Auto brush trees are great. Here's a really pretty glass tree for $10. I'm going to get that. It's got a really pretty iridescent on it. It will look really nice underneath a um, little light block. I'm going to show you this. This is another beautiful, ex beautiful piece of antique carnival glass. It is green glass. This beautiful iridescent on it. If I had another piece of like more modern carnival, I would put it right next to it. But you could really tell the difference. This is beautiful. It's $60. It's well worth that. It's the peacock tail. I love it. That's beautiful. So exciting to see the Christmas stuff in the booths. Oh, this is neat. Look at the empty. These are all Indian bottles. You can put all your empty bottles there. That's fun. Hmm. All right, let's look. Christmas. We are hunting for Christmas. Fancy pants right there. These are fun. Little milk glass, open cream or open sugar and cream. That's kind of 
pretty. Do you get the set? White cream and sugar for $9. That would be, well, I'm not going to get it, but you could do a lot with that. Oh, oh my word, those are some gourds. Big gourds. Hi, sir. All right. <coughs> Let's see. Oh, this is cool. Pennies, nickels, dimes. Where do you put your quarters? Let's see. That's pretty neat. That's $20. That is a cool totem pole bank. Ooh. You are a tiki vase. Oh, no, you're a made in China. Like, fooled. Some sand art. That's pretty neat. Got, like, lodgy stuff over here. Oh, look at you. You are a marsupial with young. See? There's the baby. You're different. You were bought at Goodwill. Yes, you were. Oh, look at you, baby. You're German. You're made in Germany. You're a baby that's playing the little violin there. For $7? Check all your fingers. I think you're really cool. pretty cool for $7. I think you'd be great for a Valentine's Day display. Make sure that all your fingers are there. Oh, no. He's, the bottom part of his violin is broken off. Rats. Sorry, baby. Hmm. Well, that's a shame. Oh, look, look there's 15% off. I love these. It's missing Mary and Joseph. Mary and Joseph is missing. It's $2, though, but... Rats again. Let's see. Oh, my. Oh, well. Look at you, girl. Someone's gussied you up. Oh, look, a Jeffrey's head in a bag. How much is Jeffrey's ha head? I don't know. There's no price on Jeffrey's head. Oh, there's oh, teeth. See, people do like crafts. These watch, old watch faces and stuff. $10. This is antique brass coin charm for $5. Mad, mad money. That's really kind of cool. It's a button cover. It's $5. It's 15% off of cash or check, which I can do. Oh, I don't know. I gotta be picky. Well, look at you, little clear paperweight owl for $3.95 at an antique mall. I think we'll get you. Oh, here's a Heisey donkey. It's $24. That's that's a donkey. Here's some salt cellars. It's really kind of cute. For $12.50 in the original box. It's Blossom. Do y'all remember Blossom? Look. Yo! It's Joey. He's six ninety five. Blossom and Joey Russo in Crimp and Cool Skipper. This is a really pretty booth. I wonder there was a booth that was right here. They must have. I really like that booth, but she's not here anymore. But um, I've got some really neat things here. Is a little. I love these little brass Christmas bells. This is eleven dollars. Season's greetings bell. And then there's some of these um, handmade ornaments, these vintage handmade ornaments. They're $4.95 each. Those are really neat, too. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, this is a fun brass candlestick holder. It's $26. I like brass candlesticks. 
let's see what else is over here on the shelves. Ooh, some Fostoria Moonstone. $48 for the set. All right, booth 857. It's another favorite of mine. Let's see. Oh, this is a little, are you a parrot? I think you are American bisque. You're an American bisque parrot planter. I'm not getting planters right now. I have so many. That's a Pier 1 mug. Don't fall asleep on Pier 1. It's pretty good resale value on, most, uh, on a lot of Pier 1 on eBay. But I'm, I'm, I'm mainly just looking for some Christmas stuff. Some really good mid-century modern pieces. There's a really pretty angel. She's heavy. She is heavy. She's $13.95. I was thinking that maybe by next weekend though. It'll be all decked out for Christmas. There's Christmas bits and pieces, but not as much as I was hoping to see. All right. What are we seeing, guys? Let's see some kitty cats. Lots of kitty cats. Oh, there's Santa up there. He's an ivory Santa cookie jar. Mm. Oh, look at you. You're Peter. You're Goebel. You're $24.95. Firm. You are West Germany. Peter the Gnome. Peter the Gnome. Some Avon. Pointer dog, some angry poodle. Oh, hound dog. I love buying hound dogs. He's a champion. He's a champion basset hound. He's $10.95. You are left in. Oh, you're a champion spaniel. Look, it's Henry. It's Henry. Look, Scott, it's Henry. But Henry's eleven ninety five. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I I'm gonna I'm gonna leave Henry behind, Scott. Don't yell at me. But I just really like the Basset. Today I'm gonna get the Basset. There's a wiener dog there too, but we're not gonna get it. we're just gonna get the Basset hound today. Because we're being picky. Alright, here is a set of four Viking little parfait glasses and the blue neek. I didn't buy these. Um, my last trip in here, but I get you get four of them for twenty-one dollars and um, sixty cents. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them today. This Henry Miller book. That that's worth, yeah. All right. So here, what is this? A horse? It's a plastic horse for six fifty. I know I said I'm just doing Christmas, but it, those have bugged me, so I'm glad that they were still here so I could get them today. Oh, does it say? It says Trolls as Sweden. $9.80. Okay. Yes, they are. Seeing these Hazel Atlas Holly um, glasses, they're maroon. If they were bright red, I probably would get them. But, um,. It's not a bad price, $9.20 for all four of them, but I just don't really like the color. I don't know. I just don't like the color. Yes, this is a Bill Royan Bach. Um, it's very groovy, but it's $18.60 for that one plate. So I don't think I'm going to get that. All right, here we have the oh-so-elusive Viking Epic Smoke Colored Glass. It's a rose bowl. It's $15.80. But I think I'm going to get it. I think I'm going to. Wow. That's, you got nature sounds. Vintage mirror, light, sound, and movement. 
Boy, you sure can. It's kind of cool though. Look, see, can you see the movement of the water? That's pretty cool. Oh, she likes it. All right, this is a cool booth. She's usually got pretty cool things in here. Always displayed so nicely. Like, I love these. Look at the lights. I like those. I, never, I had knew that these existed. I mean, I would like them with a shade more, I think, but pretty cool. She has things decorated so nicely in here. Here's a Santa Bell. Crochet snowman. How much are you? You're five. Ooh, five dollars. Ceramic cookie jar. I'm feeling kind of nice and peaceful and serene in this booth with that nature sounds. These are Pier One. These are the Lobbyin, I think. Is that what that's called? It's reverse painted, basically. Um, which are they? Six ninety nine. I do believe that they are Pier One. They look on the bottom of the box. Hmm, maybe not. I thought that they were. These are really nice. These oil cans. If you see these to use for your um, Christmas tree toppers. <gasps> oh, there's Rudolph. $4.99. I really like you. I like you, Rudolph. I'm going to get you some other fun. This is a really neat little way to display the ornaments, too. I don't like... I'm not a snowman girl. I know you can use snowmen all, all winter, but... I like I like this guy. So we're gonna get Rudolph plastic needle craft. Oh. She's Mother Mary. This is that kind this is the kind of angel. Oh this is Tammy's. She's fourteen dollars, but she's pretty. I like the angels that are made out of that same material. I kinda don't wanna leave. This is peaceful. Okay. Ooh, here we have the ceramic tree. It's a beauty. It's $119. That's a big one. That's a real nice one. And then I'm still hearing the nature sounds. It's really pretty nice. I love that Melmac stuff, but um, it's orange. I'm not going to buy orange right now. Not gonna buy orange. I'm looking for reds and greens. Ooh, that's $23 for the little vintage Tupperware mini cake thing. Is your plastic? Blue. Your neck. I mean, I'm, I'm, I always look for blue things too because I think blue is a great color to put in after Christmas is over. All right. One of my very favorite booths here at this mall is next. Oh, can you see it? I, again, every time I come here, I see her. And I always think that's a person. It's not. Oh, look at it. Isn't it great? All right. I love these feather trees. Um... How much are the ornaments? The ornaments are $7.50 each, but look at this one. Jewel Bright. Here's $6 I'm going to get you. You're a little prixy in there. Do you have any friends? Let's see if you've got any friends. $7.50. This one's nice, too. So this guy's like, uh, I don't know which way they went. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to get this one, Mercury. I'm probably going to keep this one to put on my tree. Stay. Oh, look. He has a friend here. There's a little red one. 
And is there? Oh, there is. There's a little white one. It's a trio of little pixies. We're gonna get those. Didn't I just say earlier that I wasn't gonna buy any planters? I think I just said that, but look at the Starburst design on this whole planter. It's $16. I just, I wish it was a different color. I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not, actually. I just don't know. But I love that Starburst design. Oh, is you, why can't you be green? Or red? Or yellow? I like this. Put bottle brush trees in there. You guys know you're gonna get sick of me saying that. You probably already are. But you can. You can, anything that you, that wouldn't necessarily be Christmas. Like you could put a bunch of pink bottle brush trees in that little thing, which these are really nice. Actually. These little custard, little beehive custardy things. I like those. But you know, you could put any, a bottle brush tree in something and make it Christmas. Love him. Look at that eyebrow. Oh. $59 for the eggnog set. Includes the pitcher and four mugs. It's so funny because he is just like, Arr. and these mugs are just so calm, cool, and collected. Oh, I love those. These two. I think I just, I think I have those. But, ugh, that's great. This is not good. This is an OG bottle brush tree with mercury. This is an OG bottle brush tree with the mercury beads on it. This, yeah, that's a good one. It is $16. But look, okay, see, I'm just going to show you. See, look. Christmas. Or... What else going to look? Well, that's not going to work too much. But what can we find? Oh, yeah, this guy. See? Christmas. Here's a little miniature Santa mug. It's $5. It is an old one. But I, I, I can't resist. This little angel, she's not looking very angelic. I love her little sparkles with her diamonds. She's $8. She's made in Japan. She's very cute. I'm not going to get her today, but I just wanted to show her. She's neat. Oh, look at you. You're not flocked. Normally you're flocked. You're $15. Hmm, different. Normally they're fuzzy and flocked, but he's not. Oh, look at you. You are a little Murano, Cobalt, Italy, Owl. Oh. Uh, this is Viking. Some glass flowers, 19. Your rainbow glass, look, it's even got its original thing. 69. Blue birds of happiness. Ooh, this is great. This is made in Italy as well. Teal color for 45. Ooh, we got a boot. You're Holt Howard. I like how it has a little heel on it too. $20, which is not, it's a retail price. I just can't, not a lot of room there for me. Some Tanala, which I'm not really buying a whole lot of anymore. You're cute. You're fifteen dollars. Cool. These are pretty too. These are left in thirty-two dollars for the set. George Zoltan left in nineteen fifty-seven. Those are nice. Hmm. 
it's such a hard decision. This is a nice box too. The Noma lights. And the glasses. Sold as a set. You get the ice bucket and the glasses for 17. Tablecloth is nice. Oh, what do we have down here? These are $15. Those are big bulbs. And some left in. Oh, this is nice too. Kind of look like my little um, cup in there. A little ashtray. It says, Season's greetings should be festive when you sit down. Oh, that's not a very big, it's a very shallow ashtray there. I look at this every time I come in here because it's gorgeous. Look at that. Mm. But it's also $145. It is Cambridge glass. It's gorgeous. It's got this applied clear handle. But that's just, I just can't, I, I can't do that. Because I'm, I'm not collecting and I'm buying it to resell. If you're buying it to collect in your home, then that's a great price. But well, it's a little on the high side, but it's still, it's re, it's a retail price. Let's see. We're looking for greens and reds. Christmas is what we're after. That's the name, not close. That's the name of the game. Not skeletons. Oh, here's clear glass. It's a clear glass vase. For eight dollars and fifty cents. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't think I'm gonna do it. I don't like the way it feels. I don't like the way you feel. Sometimes we have to go with that too. If it feels like a quality piece of glass, that just didn't to me. Bottle brush trees in the little measuring cups. This, this, kind of like a Michael Todd wreath, but, but not, but not. All right. I'm downstairs now and I found some blocks here. They were a dollar each and it spelled out joy, but I really wish that Y was green, but it's not, but we're going to make it work. This is a different, it's an Indiana glass. Um, I think it's a cigar ashtray of a duck, I think. It's twelve fifty. This is really pretty. This Empoli twisted blue. I'm kind of looking at this. This is Ellie Smith, but I really like the shape of it. It's like a big handkerchief. Oh, look, there's the... Those match that. Hmm. Um, bottle brush tree. Big bottle brush tree. What? Liberace Christmas? Yes. Look at him. Santa is falling into the chimney. It is a cookie jar. So the this is this is the cookie jar, but look, he is just Oh look, there's little John Jr. Well John Jr. is gonna get That's pretty fabulous. He's got some kissy lips on him too. $35 for that. That's pretty great. Here's a 1975 Montgomery Ward Christmas catalog. It's $10. I am going to get it, but wow, look at that. You could have some no iron lace trimmed nylon satin tricot sheets and you will sleep just like her. Oh my gosh, the fashions in here. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to be in this. Get up, ma. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I mean, matching, matchy, matchy. This is going to be fun to look through. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that we don't live in the days that we wear leisure suits. They match. Okay, I'm definitely going to get this. I'm going to get these two stockings. This is the biggest crazy quilt stocking I've ever seen. And this one is... $13, so I'm going to get that. And then this one is $9 for the traditional Christmas color one, but that's pretty good. And then I found another Holt Howard Christmas glass. This one is 
uh, Libby, made by Libby, so this is the real deal. Um, it's I know that they did a reproduction with Dairy Queen, but that would be marked Dairy Queen. There's no markings on that one, so I'm going to get those. Okay, this isn't Christmas. I know that's what I'm looking for, but this is an old piece of McCoy from the 40s. I would think it does have a chip in it, yes, but it is also $4, so... I'm going to overlook that. It's a great color, and this is just a beautiful piece of McCoy. I'm going to get it. And it was also 15% off, so that's even better. Well, I got some good stuff. I got some really good stuff. So everything that I bought today, you had seen me purchase. So if there's anything that you might be interested in, you can send me an email, thriftorjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and I'll let you know if it's still available. Or it, it'll be available in an upcoming live sale. I have live sales every Tuesday and Wednesday at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time right here on my YouTube channel. So if you're ever in the Bloomington, Indiana area, make sure that you stop by Westbury Antique Mall. It's such a wonderful mall. Such a wonderful mall. So make sure that you do come in. Lots of things to see. There are two big stories full of really good vintage and antiques make sure that you stop in and shop local support your local antique mall and your local antique dealers and with that i'm going to go ahead and say goodbye and as always don't forget to like share comment and subscribe bye guys we will